Hello everyone. My name is Tom Pickering and together with my co-workers Gabriel Ha and Oliver Kluge, we're showing you the recent advances in the MATLAB editor and live editor. We're starting with how to create a lightweight app with a live script. Here is an example live script. It's the van der Waals equation of state. You can see we have links, rich text um, uh, equations, and also a local function that helps me plot the compressibility factor. This function has several inputs. Three of them are the gas variable, temperature T and pressure P. If I want to make the gas variable a drop down, I can fill the values either manually or with the new release, I can also fill the values and labels by choosing a local variable. So I'm choosing the gas variable here. The labels and values get automatically updated. I also want to change the input for temperature T into a slider. And here too, I could use um, input variables for min, max, and step size, but I'm just choosing an absolute value of 700. And then finally, the input for pressure P, which is the x-axis of my plot, I'm going to make into an edit field. So now if I want to send this to a coworker or customer, I can use the hide code button on the right hand side of the live editor. And now after sending it to a coworker, they can change the inputs by simply using the live controls. The optimized live editor task in release 2020B enables you to interactively set up and run an optimization using the live editor. It guides you through the process of specifying the problem and exploring options. As with all live tasks, it automatically generates the MATLAB code corresponding to your selections, which you can use in other applications and enable others to quickly replicate your findings. As an example, we'll find the minimum of the Rosenbrock function in a circle of radius R subject to these bounds on X and Y. We'll open a new live script and start by adding a section at the top where we specify some parameters that we can easily change later, namely the radius of the circle and the initial starting point. We will quickly run this section to put the variables into the workspace. We'll then navigate up here to insert the optimized live task. Depending on the objective and constraints, the list of solvers will change to list those able to solve the problem. If you want to learn more about the solvers, click on this icon to open the relevant documentation. In the case of the Rosenbrock function, we are minimizing a nonlinear function subject to lower and upper bounds and a nonlinear constraint. We'll go with a recommended solver. Nonlinear objectives, such as the Rosenbrock function, are specified as MATLAB functions. You can specify an existing function from a file, a function local to the live script, or create a new one. Let's create a local function in our live script. After putting in the details, we'll return to the task and make sure that it's selected. Initial point will be set to the variable we defined earlier. We can change it here as needed and quickly rerun our code. After inputting our bound constraints, we need to define our nonlinear constraints, which will also be specified in a new local function. Here's the code that corresponds to our constraint. As a quick overview, non-positive values of C satisfy the constraint, while positive values do not. Since we don't have a nonlinear equality constraint, CEQ is set to an empty array. Select the constraint function in the live task and set its parameters. Finally, we'll specify what kind of plot we'd like to see. We are all set. Note that unlike other live tasks, the auto run button is off by default because it doesn't make sense to run the solver until the problem is completely set up. Let's run our script and see what we get. We can generate the code for reproducing these results from the option menu. You can use this code in applications or share it with others. One last thing to mention is that you can specify additional options for the solver. For example, we can run a different algorithm to see if it runs faster or converges to a different local solution. In this case, the algorithm takes fewer iterations and converges to the same solution as before. Use the optimized live task to interactively set up and run an optimization. Next up are some additional feature highlights. If you've got animations as part of your script, playback controls appear within the figure after the animation is done playing. This provides the ability to replay the animation without having to rerun the script. You can also adjust the playback speed. 
Next, a brief demonstration how you could add alternative text for images to support screen readers used by visual impaired MATLAB users. First, move your mouse to the image, then right click on the image and the context menu opens. Please choose edit image and then the edit image dialog is open. Now you can enter your alternative text and besides that, you can change some image settings, for example, the alignment and the size. The next feature is about linking of live scripts. For doing that, I select text, then I do a right click to open the context menu, then I choose hyperlink and the insert hyperlink dialog is open. I choose existing file and then I can choose the file which I would like to link to. Press OK and you see a hyperlink is inserted and if we click on the hyperlink, the linked live script gets opened. Last but not least, some information about exporting a collection of live scripts by just a few mouse clicks. What you see is a typical scenario of our customers. They organize their reports or lectures by storing live scripts in different folders. Now let's see how to export such a collection. First, I choose the export dropdown from the tool strip and select export folder. You see, we would like to export our live scripts to HTML. The next step is to choose the folder which contains our live scripts. Just click on this icon and select the folder. The last step is just to click on export. You see your live scripts are now processed and converted to HTML. Thank you for listening.